next segment in this build is putting the boiler tubing inside the rocket stove. So this is one inch corrugated stainless steel tubing. It's a thin roll. I hope it will hold up. It's not going to be in direct contact with the flames. Just the heat from the exhaust. And there's about 84 feet in here. I'm not sure if I can get it all in there. But what I did, I just formed it by bending it by hand. I tried wrapping it around a bucket, but it just kept springing back to a bigger size. So I just ended up forming it by hand. So I'm going to stick that in there. And then I'm going to stick some more boiler tubes across the top. I got all the holes drilled in there. I just got to put this in next. You know, I got it all jammed in there and the mother boiler tubes I stuck in across. I might have to spread these out a little more inside. So the exhaust flow will come up and it looks like most of it will go down around this side and then it'll have to work its way through these coils and then out here. You know, there's going to be some restriction in there. I'll have to guess I'll have, probably have to see how it works first before I would know if I had to take some coils out of there or try to space them out a little bit better. And I just got to hook this into this here. So the, co the coldest water will come in through here, around the coil, out here, back into this piping, and out, and it'll take it off through here. And I'll have to get a fitting on here. So I'll have all the connections on the exterior in case something leaks. I don't want anything leaking on the inside. I, it's not going to be under a lot of pressure or anything. So I got Teflon tape there and I'll have it all full of water before I start a fire in here. I don't want a fire in here with empty tubings. It probably would burn them up a little bit and damage them. And, On the inside here, I put some ceramic fiber boards for spacers so the tubing won't go right up tight. And I also put some on the bottom there so the tubing is an inch off the floor of this chamber. So i got to get some connectors on here now.
get my one inch adapter on there. That's what I forgot. Put some sealant around these parts here too. And to use this tubing, you need this special tool to flatten the end so you get a good seal. They tell you just put like two or three, go back two or three grooves, stick that on the tool. And hammer it flat. And that does it. I'm going to put this ring on there. temperature that washer can take but as long as there's water in the line it should be all right and this will just go down to another adapter so that should take care of the plumbing that tubing in well I got it pretty much completed I just got to hook these uh, connections up to something and fill it up with water and we'll see what happens. I took the door off and I put a piece of insulation around there. I just glued it on there. I found out that I need to glue the piece on the top too so it won't keep falling off. And I got the door completed. Put a little handle on there. The other cabinet handle, porcelain cabinet handle. Hopefully that won't get too hot, but you can always change it if it does. I have it ready now for an initial test. I do have some water in the coil. I filled it up and we'll fire it up and I'll see what happens. I did have one leak right here. This fitting did leak. I don't know if this adapter doesn't quite match up with the tubing, but right now I got it stopped. And we're going to fire this stove up and see what happens. So, start making a fire in there. This will be the first test of this wood burner. Load 
it up. Start it on fire. Well, I think I got it started. Well, fire's burning now a little bit. I can see I got some leaks right up there, but it is heating up the water. Starting to percolate through those tubes I got in there. I think I need a little more water in here. Well, it heated up that water in no time at all. I had to shut down the fire because it's just making steam now. Turned on the secondary air, but I don't see anything going on in there. But this sure controls air good here. I'll probably have to get hook up a pump on there to get a better test, I think. They do have one. You know, I'll slow down again. This is percolating through those top tubes right now. So it's good at making steam. Well, the fire burning part is working pretty good. I'll probably have to rig up a pump here to get a better test. Because right now all it's doing is just making steam. I guess I better take some of that apart to and fix my leaks. So that's my initial test. I'm going to have to get a, a pump on there and pump a lot more water through there because I'm, ju I'm just making steam. It didn't take no time at all to heat that water up. You know, what's in the coil and in that pot, it didn't take any time at all. It's just, you know, it's percolating through there a little bit, but I'm getting mostly steam out of there.
I got the fire shut down pretty good, just about nothing. The stove seems to be working pretty good, so I can open that up. And I can get a good fire going again. So I think the stove part is pretty successful, and it's heating the water up. I just need to pump some more through there faster. So I'll have to wait for the next video to do that. Thanks for watching.